welcome to this episode we're actually talking about managing eczema right at home stay tuned and remember to subscribe now this is a disclaimer i'm not a health practitioner i'm not a doctor i don't have a medical background but i'm a mom of three who actually has experience with managing eczema at home and even working with different doctors and so far so good so that's the knowledge and wisdom that i actually want to share with you today so remember if your child has eczema mild or severe go to the hospital family members and friends everyone seems to be a doctor but the truth is work with your medical doctor don't listen to all these social media doctors and quack doctors that know it all go to the hospital i can't stress that enough so stay tuned avoid these eczema triggers woolen and dusty clothing scented soaps detergents and oils fluffy carpets mats and rugs and some animal products now this is a fluffy carpet and most of the times it attracts a lot a lot of dust and with the dust that equals dust mittens which actually triggers eczema because of the allergy so you really want to avoid this type of carpet here and any other mats that are fluffy now for the bedding and the clothes you really want to have cotton bedding and cotton clothing try and avoid woolen bedding and uh, invest in cotton bedding or cotton clothing as you can see here now let's look at soaps and oil because that's what you'll be using on your baby's skin and we don't want to use any scented soaps or scented oils that can actually trigger your baby's flare-ups of eczema so what do you do now i have a sample here yes this is sunlight sunlight bath soap which is equally mild and then here i have a box of dove dove the original dove soap now the reason why i actually use these two either sunlight or dove is because i don't have oilatum soap here and i don't have oilatum oil with me but if you can actually afford oilatum soap and oilatum oil those are the best to use on your baby's skin let's talk about the oil the non-scented free oils that you can use i have a number of oils here first of all i have kentaste coconut oil so here it is and for coconut oil you have to ensure that it is original and 100 percent virgin i don't know if you can see these it doesn't come out so clear but it is one here somewhere here is written 100 percent virgin so you want to use that original coconut and but this one is actually used for cooking so that's the coconut oil that you should be using now don't confuse these with this one see this one actually used for my baby's hair this one here it's still coconut oil but i use this one or a bigger one this one kentaste yeah actually this one now is visible this one is visible you can see here 100 percent virgin coconut oil this one it's kentaste yeah and then i have a remis now this one i rarely use it there's a doctor who recommended this one but then there is also a pediatrician who told me that uh, this one like it's not that good especially when you are exposing your baby to the sunshine or sunlight yeah so i still have it here but mostly for their balm and then now let's talk about other moisturizers we call them moisturizers so with me here i have emulsifying ointment this one it's emulsifying ointment bp so i normally use it for 
moisturizing and just uh, especially when they are dry the, when the skin is dry i just use it for moisturizing it's not like a cream that uh, treats or yeah it's just something to avoid the skin to eat or just to moisturize and soften and it also helps with reducing those flare-ups so here it is And then I have this other one. This is Epimax Junior. Epimax Junior also does the same work as emulsifying ointment. Yeah, it's still also a moisturizer. They are called emollients. So this one is just to ensure that your baby's skin is not dry. And then it just softens, smoothens, and moisturizes. I so for very severe eczema I have here it's helicot now this is an example of hydrocortisone you can actually see here it's written helicot hydrocortisone something something so it has hydrocortisone that is 1% and hydrocortisone is a steroid so I normally use this when the eczema is severe so and you want to really minimize the use of this because steroids are not good for your baby's skin because they normally bleach the skin so that causes thinning of the skin and i also have another one here it it looks ugly but it serves the purpose it's elocom now this is my go-to friend especially when the eczema is now severe now i normally use this so for this product don't use it because you saw it somewhere on a video do consult your doctor consult your pediatrician consult your dermatologist your dermatologist before you use it it's it has a high percentage of steroids and like i mentioned steroids are not good for your child's skin Okay, now this is about washing, drying, and oiling your child's face because I'm talking about how to manage eczema at home for a child or your child who has or suffers from eczema. Now you want to ensure that you use lukewarm water and then use a clean cotton bath towel uh, to gently wash and then as I mentioned a fragrance free soap and remember to gently clean the face is not a rag that you're trying to get rid of a stain no a gentle wash and then remember to pat dry so I did that twice for emphasis pat dry and then remember to moisturize immediately now I'm going to in, uh, to illustrate how to do this so I have a child here with me who's going to help me do that as I demonstrate ensure that you just wash and wipe gently wash and wipe gently you don't want to be scrubbing you see like let's say if I was to do this no you just do this ensure that you pat dry and patting dry is actually just doing this this is how we pat dry you pat dry like this mm. yes like this here you also try and be gentle be gentle with your baby's skin keep quiet yes so there i have moisturized his face with 
uh, our emulsifying ointment and as you can see i didn't do it so roughly you know you just moisturizing and you do it gently this is about introducing new food when you are introducing a new food that you haven't given your baby before ensure that you use a three day period to check your baby's reaction either the skin or just the general body reaction and then you can either proceed with the food or withdraw it from your baby's diet so i have here an example of how i normally track the food that i give my children like you can see here an example is let's say if i'm doing fish today like let's say if it's today that i want to introduce fish so i give the fish today and then i wait for three days to lapse and then that's when now i can introduce another food to give me that time or to track or just to check of any allergic reactions and then i do the same thing with let's say beef peanuts cow milk or eggs and then if there's no any reaction i just tick if there's a reaction that's probably a skin flare-up i just come and indicate the wrong sign here like i just cross against that food item so you can see like fish for me is a yes beef a no peanut a no cow milk uh, right now is a yes and then eggs is a no now in this section i just forgot to mention something i have here cow and get this is neutrogenia children uh in the age bracket of one to three now the reason i have this cow and get here is because i realized that my baby was allergic to cow milk so instead of giving the cow milk and i wanted to supplement breast milk with something else and before weaning the baby i norm i used cow and get this is because cow and get is hypoallergenic product so it's safe for children who have eczema so that's why i have it over here but this one is not uh, for the children below the age of one this is recommended for age one two three so i'll get to the food the products that probably uh, causes eczema flare-ups and like i mentioned before you have to work with your doctor and you have to you have to consult your nutritionist you have to consult your dermatologist and all these people just before using any product that you can see here and another thing there is no product here that uh, serves marketing purposes or that uh, sponsors this video these are my own products at home that i normally use for eczema management so like i mentioned before i said that fish for my children it normally works very well with them so they don't have allergy for fish so as you can see here i have a number of raw fish here that i'll be cooking later for them they don't react to fish so there we go and uh, this fresh fish i normally get from krista bell or kelo i'll be leaving her link at the description box so in any case you are in a location as i am in kenya nairobi you can actually reach out to her there nice fresh fish as you can see now another tip that i'll be sharing with you is on prescriptions the medicine or the drugs that you are given ensure that you record your prescriptions because probably you will be meeting different doctors or different uh, medical practitioners and you see one thing they'll want to know what you've been using previously so for me i normally just record in a book and also like uh, in my computer so here this is just an example like let's say if january 2020 i was given aqueous cream aqueous cream is also another moisturizer another um, yeah emollient that you can use 
use to moisturize your baby skin. So let's say if I was given that aquas cream in January 2020. So here it is. Let's assume February 2020 I was given emulsifying ointment and a baby syrup paradol. I have it here. And then let's uh, if April 2020 I was given Elocom cream and Dower Coat Plus Chemoxyl syrup, so I have it recorded here. And then let's say July 2020, I was given Epimax Junior. I have it here. So if I'm going to a new hospital or a different hospital, I'm in a different location, I'm meeting a different doctor, I just want to uh, ensure that I have my record here that I can actually tell that doctor that okay for me this is what have been given previously you can either um, prescribe the same especially that has worked for me or you can recommend something else that i can try because in this it's a game of trial and error you try something new it works for you it's okay it doesn't you just withdraw it so this is about soaps and oil and uh, in the previous previously i showed you the soaps that i use i also showed you the oils that i use so uh, like i mentioned i recommend oilatum soap and oil and then uh, what has worked for me is the dove original soap and then sunlight bar soap is also okay uh, so in in a nutshell you can just use any mild fragrance free soap so just also try and track that one also and know what works for you because what works for me probably may not work for you okay now for severe flare-ups like for severe eczema kindly consult your doctor consult your pediatrician consult your dermatologist and when you given hydrocortisone creams or creams that have steroids ensure that you use them sparingly so i actually showed you this one helicot it has hydrocortisone that is one percent and then we have this elocom here it uh, works for me especially when uh, the eczema is so severe and then the skin is just so rough it uh, softens and it really does a great work but then it also bleaches the skin and that means it thins it thins the skin so you have to use it so sparingly i'm going to repeat this as i mentioned before you have to consult a health facility you have to heed to your doctors or dermatologist advice and don't depend on your friends and family members because they are not doctors especially the one the ones with no medical background what worked for them might not work for you so walk your own journey and work with a medical doctor Eczema is a condition that causes the skin to be inflamed or to be irritated. It turns red and it can be swollen. So most children normally outgrow eczema by the age of five or six. Others outgrow eczema later on while others don't outgrow eczema they have eczema throughout their adulthood but with proper management of eczema those who suffer from this condition can still live a normal life thank you so much for watching i'm malin the parent remember to subscribe and share widely these tips thank you so much